Many people have access to their electronic medical records and are able to see their blood test reports. Understanding different lab results can be daunting for people with little or no medical background. Here, I will explain the significance of abnormal MCV values in the complete blood count report. This is an example of a complete blood count or CBC report from a lab. MCV encircled here with a red marker is abbreviated for mean corpuscular volume. MCV is a laboratory value that measures the average size and volume of a red blood cell. Red blood cells contain a special protein called hemoglobin, which makes the blood look red. Hemoglobin helps carry oxygen from the lungs to all over the body. The normal MCV range varies slightly from lab to lab. The average MCV ranges from 80 to 100 femtoliters. The red blood cells are called macrocytes if their MCV is below 80 femtoliters. They are called macrocytes if their MCV is above 100 femtoliters. Several medical conditions can cause elevated MCV. Here is a list of common causes. Since vitamin B12 deficiency is a fairly common condition, especially among older adults, I will spend a few more minutes discussing the causes of vitamin B12 deficiency. Vitamin B12 deficiency occurs in people who follow the vegan diet if they do not have an adequate intake of vitamin B12 supplement. This is because vitamin B12 naturally comes from animal-derived foods and vegan diet contains little vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 deficiency also occurs in people with autoimmune gastritis. This is an inflammatory condition in which our immune system attacks the parietal cells in the stomach that produce the intrinsic factor. The intrinsic factor plays a key role in the absorption of vitamin B12. With inadequate production of intrinsic factor in people with autoimmune gastritis, vitamin B12 absorption is compromised and vitamin B12 deficiency occurs. Long-term use of metformin H2 blockers such as formaldehyde or pepsid and proton pump inhibitors such as omeprazole or prelosec can lead to vitamin B12 deficiency. Stomach surgeries such as gastric bypass surgery can prevent the absorption of vitamin B12. Nitric oxide abuse may also cause vitamin B12 deficiency. Besides vitamin B12 deficiency, the following conditions also cause MCV elevation. Folate deficiency more common occurs in people who have an unbalanced or unhealthy diet. It also occurs in people with celiac disease. People with liver disease, alcoholism, and hypothyroidism can have MCV elevation. Hypothyroidism is a condition in which the thyroid gland does not produce enough thyroid hormone. Chronic hypoxia or low oxygen levels in the blood and certain medications used to treat cancer, seizures, autoimmune disorders, and viral infections can cause elevated MCV. Myelodysplastic syndromes are a group of cancers in which immature blood cells made in the bone marrow fail to mature to become functional blood cells. People may receive a CBC report showing the value of MCV below the normal range. What are the causes for low MCV? Here is the list. The most common causes of low MCV are iron deficiency anemia and thalassemia. Thalassemia is caused by mutations of the genes that encode alpha or beta chains of hemoglobin. The mutated genes are passed from parents to their children. People with thalassemia either have no signs and symptoms or they can have mild to severe signs and symptoms depending on whether they have an alpha or beta gene mutation and the number of mutations they have. Anemia of chronic disease can cause low MCV. Chronic conditions that lead to this type of anemia include diabetes, cancer, infection, immune disease, kidney disease, arthritis, etc. Other causes of low MCV include lead poisoning and sideroblastic anemia. 
sideroblastic anemia is a group of blood disorders in which the iron is abnormally utilized to make hemoglobin and the bone marrow has an impaired ability to produce normal red blood cells. Thank you for watching.